And I know it might seem like I put so many things in this package, things that she didn't order, like cards and stickers and things, but that's just really important to me as a brand. I wanna give every single customer I have a whole unpacking experience. I think that a customer should be able to look forward to the unpacking process even more than getting the product itself. So I think this is really cute and really girly and everybody who gets one of these can appreciate it because it's like getting a little present in the mail. Hey everyone, it's Kenna, owner of Kenna Cosmetics, and today I am going to be doing a special video in honor of my very first launch date. I am going to be filming a video on how I package my orders. So Kenna Cosmetics just opened today, and I'm so excited. I've been preparing for this day for so long, and it's finally here and it was amazing. I got so much positive feedback from friends and from family, and I got a lot of orders today, so I'm so excited to go ahead and start packaging them. I have bought so much cute packaging supplies, probably way more than I need, but I'm going to show all of it to you anyway. Also, before I start, if you have questions about where to start your own lip gloss company, or if you have questions about where I started, where you want to get your supplies, how to sell, how to gain followers, comment below this video. I'm gonna read all of your comments and I'll keep making videos based on what you guys ask. Okay, so before we get any further into the video, I am going to go ahead and show you what I have to pack with. Okay, so the color blush pink has a lot to do with my brand. So obviously I have a lot of pink items. First, we're gonna talk about my thank you cards, which are right here. I have these actual thank you cards that I just write the customer name and a short thank you note in. And then I also have another type of thank you card, which are just handmade little hearts. And I choose between either the hearts or the actual cards. A customer gets one. And then I have these little random stickers that I put in each order just as a gift to the customer. They're totally free and they're really cute. So next I have my actual lip glosses. I sell 10 milliliter glosses and I also sell 8 milliliter glosses for a dollar less. I have my sample set glosses which actually all sold out today which is exciting. And then I have my business cards which I love. They have little lips on them. Each customer gets two business cards. They get one to keep for themselves and one to give to a friend. And lastly, in this pile, we have my tissue paper, which I use to pack the poly mailers with. So next, I have these white pouches that I put the lip glosses in. Their free stickers and business cards also go in these pouches. I got 100 of these for only $5. I also have golden thank you stickers. They look like this. And they go on the outside of my rose gold poly mailers. I have nine orders to ship out today, so I have nine poly mailers with me. I got these from Amazon as well, and they're really cute, and they fit the lip glosses perfectly. I also have these adhesive labels. I can print out each customer's shipping label onto these. They're already sticky on the back, so all I have to do is peel them off and put them straight onto the poly mailer. So that's why I love them. There's two on each sheet, which means I have 200 labels total. I also have two call to action cards that go into each poly mailer. This one's for our Instagram and this one has a return or discount code on it. So I'm not going to show you what it is because you have to purchase an item in order to get the code. Okay, so now that you've seen all of my supplies, we're going to go ahead and jump into what I do first. I'm covering the name so that I can keep her information private, but these are the poly mailers as you just saw. They're six by nine inches and they're a nude rose gold color. And right here you can see that I've gone ahead and written down what she ordered so that when I pack all of them, it's easier for me to navigate. And these are the rest of my poly mailers. I'm packing eight, I think. And two of them are actually going to be delivered in person because they live close to us. So these will not get shipping labels, but I'm going to show you how I print my shipping labels anyway, because six of them are being sent out. I'm gonna go ahead and pack my first order. So this person got two of my Neverland collection sample sets. 
So my Neverland collection sample set are basically these. And they're 1.2 milliliter tubes of every gloss that I have in the current collection that I'm offering. So I offered my shoppers a chance to buy the complete Neverland collection in tiny little 1.2 ounce tubes so that they can try out what they like and then come back later and buy a full sized squeeze bottle of either 8 milliliters or 10 milliliters. This is the entire set of the Neverland collection sample set. She bought two of these, so I'm actually going to give them to her in two separate bags. Okay, so I have my first bag, and I'm going to take a little bit of the tissue paper that I showed you and crumple it up just enough so that it fits in the bottom part of this white bag. Okay, so now the bottom of my bag looks like this. And I'm going to go ahead and drop in the entire sample set. Now I'm going to move them around and make sure that they're all facing the same way. Okay, so now my bag looks something like this. You can see the tissue paper in the back and then the product is in the front. So the next thing I'm gonna add are my stickers. I showed you these earlier. They're just little stickers that I found online and I thought they were all really cute. I have over a hundred in here and I just choose two at random to stick into the white bag for a little extra gift. Okay, so I'm choosing these two to put in her bag with her Neverland set collection. Okay, so now we have something like this. Next, she's going to get one of our business cards that I got from Canva. Just went ahead and stuck the business card in the very back. Okay, so I finished her second order and I also wrote her a thank you note. So I decided to use the hearts for this thank you note. I'm covering up her name and I just put, I hope you love your order. Thank you so much for ordering. And I'm gonna put that in her poly mailer. And so now that I have her items all packaged up, I am going to start packing her poly mailer. So I have my poly mailer right here. I went ahead and took off the sticky note so that her information stays safe. The first thing I'm gonna do is take a little piece of tissue paper and put it in the very bottom to give it some definition. And now I'm going to go ahead and slide in both of her products. And next I'm going to take two more sheets of tissue paper, just put it in the very top. So now the inside of her package looks a little bit like this. And next, I'm going to throw in those two call to action cards that we talked about. It's our Instagram card and then our promo code card. Okay, and now I just have her thank you card to go ahead and throw in and that's all. Okay guys, so now she has a ton of cute little goodies to unpack along with her product. So now that I've packed up her package, I'm gonna weigh it before I close it. So my package scale is really just a regular food scale that I got from our kitchen. And you can cut it on with this button and then just make sure whatever scale you have, the units are on ounces. So for some reason my scale is glitching. It says that there's 1.6 ounces currently sitting on it, which we know is not true. So what I'm going to do is put the package on the scale and then subtract 1.6 ounces from whatever the total is to get rid of that negative weight. So as I set our package on the scale, the scale says that it weighs 4 ounces, so if we subtract that 1.6, we get 2.4 total ounces. Now I am on the Pirate Ship website, which is where I get my shipping labels. Her address is listed, but it's covered for her protection. And all I have to do is hit the green Get Rates button, 
fill in the proportions of my package and the weight, and then I can print out my label on my sticky paper. After hitting the Get Rates button, I'm just telling the computer that my envelope is a 9 by 6 inch envelope and it weighs 3 ounces. Now I'm going to click Get Rates. So in order to ship her package first class, it only cost $2.74, which is the cheapest that I've ever found it. I need to scroll down to the bottom and click Buy Label and it will purchase it for me and I can print it out from my printer. As you can see, the label is ready to print, so I'm just going to load in my printing label stickers and connect this website to my printer. Pirate Ship gives you multiple printing options for your label. They print on regular letter sized 8 by 11 sheets. They print only on the left side. They print only on the right side. They also do 2x7s and 4x6s for thermal printers. I want my label to be on the right side of my 8x11 sticker sheet, so that's what I chose. Now I'm just quickly connecting my laptop to my printer's Wi-Fi, and I'm going to go ahead and click print. And I am going to seal my poly mailer now by just taking off this little cover here, this covers the adhesive strip, and I'm going to fold it over and close it. This is the completed package, and I only filmed myself packing one of these, but I have several more to pack, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, but I hope you guys enjoyed this packing video, and if you have any other questions about how to start your own business, or what I did to start mine, or just any questions about how to make a lip gloss, or where to start, comment down below because I would love to make more videos for you guys. Also, don't forget to follow Kenna Cosmetics on Instagram. We did sell out of a couple items today, but we have more in stock, so we're still open. Make sure to shop and get your cute packaging delivered from me as well.